Good day everyone! I'm Ira Villaperte from BSE TV Mathematics and today I'm going to present my teaching demonstration. So, let's start! Please all stand up for a prayer. And um, Ms. Manuel, can you please lead the prayer before class? In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father and your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, we thank you for giving us another life. We thank you for another beautiful morning. As we go on through our lessons for today, may you make us in instrument to do good things. Please enlighten our minds and our hearts. Please give us strength to participate in our class today. In the name of the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, before we start, please clean your surroundings and arrange your seat properly. Okay, that's alright. Please all settle and sit down. So now, let's check your attendance. Where is the secretary of the class? Okay, Miss Mamangon, can you please tell us if there's any absent for today? Very good. So before we move on to a new topic, can someone tell me about the recap of our topic yesterday? Uh-huh, Miss Antonio? Great job! So our topic yesterday is about the three kinds of undefined terms, which are the line, point, and the plane. A line is a line which has length but no thickness. So meaning, a line is only, is simply represented by a straight line. The best example of a line is the strand of your hair. So, what about a point? Don't answer me in chorus. If you want to answer, please raise your hand. Okay, Miss Javier. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, a point is a kind of undefined terms with no length, with no width, and no thickness. And it also represented by a dot and can be classified by a capital letter. So, what about a plane? Okay, Miss Gonzalez, can you tell us about the plane? Very good. So, a plane has two dimensions and it forms a flat surface that definitely extends in all directions. So before we continue, let's have an activity first. So we have here a speaker and a box. This box contains all related questions about our topic for today. So as I play the music, you will pass this box with one another. But to make this activity more exciting, while passing this box, we will partner it with a dance, okay? So, as the music stops, the one who's holding the box will pick a question inside and answer it correctly. So, so let's start. Okay, who got the first question? Okay, Mr. Yambot, please read the question and answer it. Very good. A square is a shape with four equal sides. So, let's have another one. Okay, Mr. Rachel. 
Okay, very good. A triangle is a polygon with three sides. So, based on our activity, did you find some idea or do you have any ideas about our topic for today? Mm -hmm. Shapes? Another? Correct. So, our topic for today is about plane figures. So, we already know that a plane is a two-dimensional shape that forms a flat surface and extends in all directions. So, plane figures are formed by a curve and a line. And also, plane figures are flat figures that can be defined in two types, which are the open plane figures and the closed plane figures. So, let's begin with open plane figures. So look at this figure. So this curve line is start with is start at the point A and end at the point B. So an open plane figures are shapes or figures or whose line segments and or curves do not meet. So meaning a, uh, an open plane figures are lines that start at a point and end in another point so how about this figure do you know what is this figure very good it's an angle so do you think that an angle is an example of open plane figure very good an angle is also an example of open plane figures because it consists or it formed by a connecting lines and it starts with one point and ends with another point so let's move on to the closed plane figures so plane figures that start at a same point are closed or are called closed plane figures so some example of closed plane figures are triangle a square and a circle So, a circle is a shape with no sides and no corner. And a, a, and a circle is consists of all points that have that have given distance in a given point. So, this point is called the center of the circle. And you and when you connect these points from the center to its circumference these lines have its equal measurements so why do you think that a circle is an example of closed plane figures so as you can see that a circle has a flat surface and also it formed by a bended straight line. So next. And another form of closed plane figures are figures that form by a connecting connecting three or more segments at the same point is called a polygon. So an example of polygon are Tri triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, hexagon, and heptagon. So, let's start with a triangle. So, a triangle is a a triangle is a polygon with three sides. So a triangle is a three-sided polygon. 
and it also have three vertices. The enclosed figure or enclosed area inside the triangle is called triangular region. And we can name this triangle as triangle ABC on your words triangle ABC. So, as you can see that this triangle is triangle is formed by straight lines. So, we can name these lines as or these sides as line AB line BC and line AC. This is AB BC and AC. So, let's move on to a quadrilateral. So, a quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides. So, there are many kinds of quadrilateral, which are, or some example of quadrilateral are parallelogram, is square, and rectangle. And this one is a parallelogram. So, a parallelogram or a four-sided polygon can be denoted by its vertices. So, its vertices are Q, P, R, and S. And we can denote this para parallelogram as parallelogram P, Q, R, S, or S, R, U, P. So, and another example of a quadrilateral is a square. So, a square is also have four sides, but a square have four equal sides, meaning all of its sides are equal are have equal measurements. So, a square also have four vertices, and this line joining two opposite vertices is called diagonal. So, a square is consists of two diagonal with the same measurement. So, the diagonal of a square is also have same measurement. So, let's have a pentagon. So, a pentagon is a five-sided polygon. So, one, two, three, four, five. And we can denote it or we can call it as a five gun. So, next one is a hexagon. A hexagon is a six-sided polygon, meaning it formed by a six-sided lines. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, next one is a heptagon. A heptagon is a seven-sided polygon, or we can call it as a seven-gon. So, the last one is an octagon. So, an octagon is a, an, po, is a polygon with eight sides, or we can call it as eight-gon. So, in realization, we now know that a polygon or a plane figure is consisting of line and curve. So, before we continue, can you please tell again what is plane figures? Okay, very good. So, what do you think is the importance of learning plane figures? 
Okay, great job. So, for better understanding, let's have an activity. I have here a 3 by 3 chart. So, this activity is called a shape bingo. This chart contains different kind of shapes. And also, these shapes are examples of plain figures. So, when I say a shape and you have this shape on your chart, you just need to mark it. And the student who finished first three across, three down, and three, the diagonal will win the game. So, please get one and pass. Okay. So, okay. Based on our activity, I can say that you fully understand our lesson. So, I will give you a quiz. So... Answer this quiz based on your understanding and based on what you learned about our lesson. So, I will read the direction. So, on letter A, you just need to answer three questions. So, in letter A, using the figure below, name and identify the following. So, in letter B, you just need to list at least three examples of plain figures and explain it based on your understanding. So, I will give you 15 minutes to answer the quiz. Okay, the time is up. So, please pass your paper in front. Okay, so before we end the lesson or before we end the class, please bring your notebook and I will give you an assignment. So, are you ready? In a long band paper, draw a small village using different kind of plain figures. Okay, I repeat it. In a long band paper, draw a small village using different kinds of plain figures. So, you will only apply, you will only apply all you have learned today in your assignment. And it, that assignment will be passed on next meeting.